Welcome guys, welcome to my uh, legal sewing section 599 Minimum index sum of two list So suppose Andy and Doris want to choose a restaurant for dinners And they both have a list for rest uh, favorite restaurant represented by strings You need to help them to find out their common interest with this index sum If there is a choice to uh, type between answer output all uh, of them with no other requirement You could assume that there is always this answer Okay, so yeah, before I start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So let's say maybe see an example. So this one has this uh, three, I think it's four uh, meal, and uh, also uh, one, two, three, four, four meal. There are, I think there are not, there are less uh, restricted to their lens, it should be the same. Their lens can be different, right? So the, the answer will be this, the first one, this, uh, because the reason is that uh, they, they both have the they both like this, right? The, this is the only one. So, uh, for example, one well, we know that uh, we first need to calculate something should be, uh, should be, should be, should be, should be what? Should be uh, intersection of two lists, right? So, okay. So first, uh, let's say we have this one and the list two. So first, we should calculate. Let's define at least three to be. Uh, let's define this three to be intersection. So after we calculate intersection, then we then maybe well we see a second example. So for the second example, that uh, they have the same is this one, and also this uh, Burger King, right? Also KFC, right? But uh, for the restaurant, they both like and they have this index sum is this one. The index sum is zero plus one, so their sum is one. So you need to return the, the list index. Okay, so now uh, we already know how to do it, right? So for then let's then uh, for each element, let's say for i in this, then we need to calculate index, right? So it's very we just find the index, uh, find the index of this i in the uh, list one, and the final index of i in the list two, and then we sum of then, so we just add then, and then we should create a dictionary. Right, because we, we need to output if if there is a type we need to output all the answers. So we should create a dictionary. Which is the key. The key is the the num the index sum. The key is the index sum and the value should be the meal. Right. So it should be the answer. Should be the, the list of the meal which has the in the has that that kind of index sum. Right. So once you understand it there's very easy. So right, so the, I define these three for equal to value for value in this one if value in these two. So basically, this is just the intersection. I mean, you can use a set intersection, right? But I just wants to use the only use the list. And now create a dictionary. Then for each, uh, right, for each in the uh, intersection, we calculate an index sum called J, right? And if J is in the dictionary, that means it already happened. Uh, then uh, I just append I, uh, I just append it. If J is not in dictionary, that means I need to initialize. So I just uh, I just create and put, uh, create a list with element I. So this is the same as this definition. And finally, I return dictionary sorted keys zero. So sorted dictionary means that I use value. I use the value of dictionary uh, the key. I use the key to do the to do the uh, sorted, and I put put zero. So it's the smallest. So this is the the least index sum, right? And I use a dictionary and I check the dictionary so that means they will return the what kind of the, the meal the meal with the least index up. okay so that's the idea I think uh, once you understand you just try to uh, try to change it as a code and then you can easily solve it okay I will see you guys in the next videos